Hey PD people, how are you guys? So I have a couple updates for you. <laughs> Velvy there in the back, who just ran away. Velvy, come here. Hey Miss Velvy. Hi Velvy. Yes, hello Annie. So little Velvy goes to get her teeth trimmed on Monday. Everything looks good for her teeth except the big one. The big one is just growing crazy. So it needs something done with it. It's only about half of it gets ground down naturally from her top teeth. And the other part is just growing like wild. So we're going to have to have something done with it. Now Reese Bear, as you guys know, Reese Bear only has three front teeth. So she has one bottom one and two tops. The one bottom one fell out because of an abscess. And her abscess little hole still isn't closed. So... She's still on antibiotics. We're going Tuesday next week for a checkup for talking about having her on antibiotics long term. As her hole still hasn't closed and still has some drainage. So I don't really think she can be off of it without it going back too bad. But right now, don't be chewing that, you little turd. Um, excuse me. Thank you. So little Reese Bear here, I wanted to tell you guys something that I've been doing for her top incisors. So if you guys don't know, she only has three incisors. One on the bottom, two on the top. One on the bottom fell out probably three and a half weeks ago because of her abscess that she had. And it has not grown back. There's no sign of it coming back, which I'm going to say probably isn't coming back. So with only one tooth on the bottom, that means her top teeth don't wear down properly so they start to get jagged and just don't look so pretty so I thought is there something I can do at home that's safe to make them all pretty again and I figured something out now I'm not into using clippers to clip their teeth I'm just not gonna try that because too scared of them fracturing and being jagged or making a mess or hurting them so I picked up a really heavy duty grit nail file. So I looked on Amazon for ones that are good for fake nails like acrylic or gel nails. And I never knew that there's so many different grits that you can get for nail files. So this one is an 80 grit on one side and 100 grit on the other side. So very gritty. And I use that on Reese's top teeth. So I take her out. I have to towel wrap her so that she doesn't squirm. And just hold, hold her mouth open and file her top teeth. I will show you guys a picture on Facebook and Instagram. I did not take a video of doing this because I'm not trying to promote it to people to try. I'm just saying it did work. So if your guinea pig has a very minor issue just like Reese, then obviously you can tidy up their teeth using that. But if your guinea pig has a messed up mouth like velvet or... There's nothing I can do for Dear Velvet, then I wouldn't be recommending trying to do anything. So, Reese, it's just her top teeth aren't wearing properly because she only has one bottom tooth. It's not that she has problems with her molars or anything else like that. So, it's been working. So, I will share that on Facebook and Instagram, and you guys can check out the picture to see the before and after. And it works really nicely. Now, as I said, like I'm not promoting anybody to just be sitting there filing their guinea pig's teeth without reason. But it is an option if that's all your guinea pig needs. Because I thought it's going to be pretty extreme to have her put under to just have her front teeth trimmed. Because my uh, vet only does anything dental if they are totally put out. Because the machine that they use cuts through their teeth. And if they moved at all, you could have very bad injuries. So... That's why I was looking for something else to do that would save her a vet trip. Now, dear Velvy, who's hiding in the dark, goes Monday to get her teeth trimmed. I can file down her top teeth, but she will not let me file down her bottom tooth. I think it's very uncomfortable, and I can feel like a lump under her jaw where that bottom tooth is. So I don't know if that's an elongated root. 
or something worse. So we're going to have that checked out. She's eating and drinking fine, but I cannot do anything to make her other tooth look any better, which stinks because I tried. Hey, Ray. And how are you, Autumn? Is she not just the most gorgeous colors? Are you having some pellets, little sweet pea? Hi, Annie. How are you? The trio is doing great. They are getting along extremely well. Well, there's a little bit of a bossy display by Autumn. For you, me, and Bossy to little Annie. But everybody's getting along great. And they're very comfortable with each other. And the really nice thing is the girls can go off and do their own thing. And Busby doesn't have to follow them anymore. Looks like Autumn's being a tiny bit bossy. She's putting the pressure on Annie of, I want that water bottle. But see, like, that's as bossy as she gets, which is so good. Just a nice little tap. They're so sweet. Where's little Buzz? I think he's under. We can't even see him on this angle. He's back behind there. I'll see if I can get him. There's Buzzby. Hi, Buzz. How are you, little buddy? Oh, give him some rumbles. You are the boss. He's a cute little bum. Hey, Buzz. Hey, buddy. Hi, cutie. Look out, Autumn. Mr. Butt Sniffer. Oh, I bet you just got sprayed with pee, Buzz. You never learn. <laughs> I love his slow, slow walk as he's trying to rumble. Hurry up, you're like a little sloth. Does that make him look cool or what? It's the slowest you ever see him move though. This is when he's acting all tough. Yep, then off we go. Hello baby, how are you? Baby pig, where you go? Oh, we're off. Baby, baby pig, you were supposed to come over here so everybody could see you. Well, guess what? There's little Ray. And we have Velvie. That's one of her favorite spots because it's nice and covered. And we have Huckle in the hay pile. And where is my Racy Bear? Oh, she over here. Oh, you can hardly see her. She's on the other side of Ray. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!